road safety is one of the most primary concern nowadays because we see a lot of accidents happening on our roads right now a lot of people losing their lives just because of something that we could have avoided so in order to eliminate such road accidents and for the purpose of improving road safety the one main key player the one main technology that is under development and that is being established is vehicle to vehicle communication technology so what do you actually mean by the term vehicle to vehicle communication technology well my name is rishi ramju and welcome to the backbench engineering community and i'm making sure it easy for you so let us ask ourselves that obvious question what do you actually mean by the term vehicle to vehicle communication well let's find out so let me put it in the most simplest form for you so first let us take a small example let us assume three guys going on a trip to a hill station so we have three guys so here let us assume these three guys are going on a trip to a hill station so now when these guys reach the top of this particular hill what they observe is that only this particular guy has got a signal in his mobile phone that is only this particular guy has got internet access but these two people they do not have internet access so when we are faced with such kind of a situation what we usually do is that we would ask him to turn on his mobile hotspot so he could share his internet connection with these two guys with the help of his internet hotspot or his mobile hotspot so he will turn on his mobile hotspot so in a particular region like this in a particular area he could provide his internet connection or he could share his internet connection to these people so if these people are within this particular range they would be able to access his internet connection but if these people are outside his mobile hotspot range then they won't be able to access his internet so this is the basic principle or the basic concept of mobile hotspot so a vehicle to vehicle communication technology also works somewhat similar to this so here in the case of vehicle to vehicle communication this particular hotspot kind of connection is established between vehicles so let us assume this particular intersection that is the junction of four roads like this so let us assume that there is a car coming over here like this let us assume this to be a particular car say c1 and let us assume this to be a particular car c2 let this be a particular car c3 and let this be a particular car c4 so we have four cars over here so here in the case of vehicle to vehicle communication just like a mobile hotspot here a particular hotspot like connection is present around this particular car similarly around this particular car also there would be a temporary connection like this similarly around this particular car also there would be a particular temporary connection like this and across this particular car also like this there would be a range so here what we observe is that when these two cars come in range here they can transfer information similarly when these two cars come in range they can transfer information similarly when these two cars come in range they can transfer information so it is a principle of a mobile hotspot incorporated into a car but the difference here is that in the case of a mobile hotspot we used wifi protocol but here in the case of vehicle to vehicle communication we use something else which we refer to as dsrc or dedicated short range communication protocol so it has a frequency band in between 5.850 to 5.925 gigahertz so therefore with the help of this particular dsrc a temporary connection is established between multiple vehicles so here this is a basic idea behind vehicle to vehicle communication technology so now let us see how vehicle to vehicle communication can be incorporated to improve road safety so here let us assume that when this car is coming like this if this is a blind spot he will not know that there is a car approaching from here but if v to v communication is present then once a connection is established this car can be given an alert that another car is approaching from this side hence preventing a collision 
Similarly, this information can be transmitted from here to here or from here to here. Let us see another example where V2V communication can be used. So now let this be a particular road. Now let us assume that a vehicle is moving like this, which is equipped with vehicle to vehicle communication. So now this, let us say this is car C1. So now this car is moving here. Okay, so this would also have a dedicated short range communication range like this. So this is C1. Now let us assume that another car is behind this particular C1. Let this be say C2. So now let us assume that C2 is moving faster than C1. So obviously what he would want to do is he would want to overtake C1. So an overtaking maneuver would be done like this. But, 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 if another vehicle is approaching from this side, C2 will not be able to know unless he can see that vehicle. So if another vehicle is present over here like this, let this be say C3 and if this also is equipped with vehicle to vehicle communication, then this C2 will be made alert that he is not supposed to make an overtake maneuver because another vehicle C3 is approaching like this. So therefore, a temporary connection when established between multiple vehicles can provide a lot of information thereby reducing the probability of an accident. So this is the beauty of vehicle to vehicle communication. It is a temporary connection that is established and through which a lot of information, a lot of vital parameters can be sent the beauty of vehicle to vehicle communication. So here the major advantage of using vehicle to vehicle communication is that this is a temporary connection. So this vehicle to vehicle communication range is only around this particular vehicle. So therefore the vital parameters cannot be hacked by anybody. So if a person wants to track someone, if he wants to hack into his car and get his location or things like that, vital parameters, it won't be possible because the connection can be established only if another vehicle is within the range of this particular car. Only then will he be able to access the vital parameters from this particular car. But that is also the major disadvantage of vehicle to vehicle communication. That is the communication is limited to the range of that particular vehicle. So this is the basic idea behind what you refer to as vehicle to vehicle communication. So a lot of things can be solved with the help of vehicle to vehicle communication. So this is actually a great tool to do your final year project on. Using vehicle to vehicle communication you can solve a lot of problems, incorporate a lot of things, add a lot more features, improve the safety of road transport by a huge margin. So it is up to you to utilize vehicle to vehicle communication to create a unique final year project. So now along with vehicle to vehicle communication technology there are newer things like V2X that is vehicle to everything. Here if the connection is established between just vehicles using V2X the connection is established between vehicles and everything else be smartphones, lights, all those things. So the connection is established with everything that is what you refer to as V2X. Then another technology is cellular V2X that is the vehicle to vehicle communication is established using a cellular 5G connection. So all those technologies technologies are there but this is the basic idea behind what you refer to as vehicle to vehicle communication as simple as that guys there's nothing more to it so i hope you guys now have a clear understanding of what you refer to as vehicle to vehicle communication and if you guys found this video informative please do hit the like button and join this community by hitting that subscribe button we'll be discussing about the further topics in the upcoming videos so stay tuned stay subscribed until next time i'll see you guys in the next video thank you